after two years of Republican criticism that he's soft on border security. He's in El Paso, Texas, meeting with officials to talk about migration and drug trafficking. As Biden's campaign promises meet the reality of the border, echoes of Trump's tenure resound louder than ever. From campaign pledges to border visits, President Biden's journey has hit unexpected twists and turns. In a nation where border security and migration fuel heated debates, nothing seems to be going as planned. President Biden has failed to exercise his constitutional obligation to police the border and protect Americans. Biden's approach. It was a moment that had been eagerly anticipated, President Joe Biden's first visit to the U.S.-Mexico border since taking office. The border crisis had become a hot-button issue, with Texas Governor Greg Abbott leading the charge in criticizing Biden's immigration policies. The stage was set for a high-stakes visit that would shape the narrative surrounding border security and immigration enforcement. As Air Force One touched down at the El Paso airport, the tension in the air was palpable. Governor Abbott was there to greet the president, a symbolic gesture that underscored the deep divide between their perspectives on the border crisis. Abbott, a vocal critic of Biden's immigration policies, wasted no time in expressing his frustration. The president who caused the chaos at the border needed to be here. It just so happens he's two years and about $20 billion too late. He needs to step up and take swift action, including reimbursing the state of Texas for the money we've spent, but also providing more resources for the federal government to do its job. This visit is nothing but a show unless he begins to enforce the immigration laws that already exist. The exchange between Abbott and Biden was brief, but it spoke volumes. The governor's office later confirmed that he was not invited to attend the rest of the president's tour of El Paso. However, Abbott did share a glimpse into his conversation with Biden. He said he wanted to work with us on it. Biden's office, on the other hand, stated that the purpose of the visit was to assess border enforcement operations and meet with local elected officials and community leaders who have been important partners in managing the historic number of migrants fleeing political oppression and gang violence. And so, the president's tour of El Paso began. Joined by Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas and several Democratic U.S. representatives, including Veronica Escobar, Henry Cuellar, and Vicente Gonzalez, Biden embarked on a journey to gain a first-hand understanding of the challenges faced by migrants and the communities along the border. They need a lot of resources. We're going to get it for them. With those words, Biden set the tone for his visit. He acknowledged the need for additional support and resources to address the complex issues at the border. But what would this visit ultimately achieve? Would it bridge the gap between political adversaries or would it further fuel the already intense debate surrounding immigration and border security? As the president made an unscheduled stop near an 18-foot tall border fence, the symbolism was hard to ignore. The towering barrier stood as a physical reminder of the challenges faced by those seeking to cross the border. It was a stark contrast to the promises of a more compassionate and inclusive approach to immigration made by the Biden administration. After his brief visit to the border, Biden departed for Mexico City, where he was scheduled to meet with Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau during the North American Leaders' Summit. But the impact of his visit to the border would continue to reverberate across the political landscape. While Biden was in El Paso, Republican National Committee Chair Ronna McDaniel held a press conference in the Rio Grande Valley. Standing alongside local officials, McDaniel criticized the president's disastrous border security plan and its effects on Texas's border communities. We're in McAllen, Texas, in the Rio Grande Valley, where so much of this is happening, and President Biden has still never been here. So we wanted to make sure that we don't forget this part of the state and allow him to do a photo op in El Paso and pretend that the problem is gone. The political battle lines were drawn, with Abbott and McDaniel leading the charge against what they perceived as a failure of the Biden administration to address the border crisis effectively. The Biden administration did not reach out about the El Paso visit until until Saturday night, when a staffer got an email inviting me to greet Biden on the tarmac. I hand-delivered a letter to the president, pinning the influx of migrants on his administration's open border policies and demanding a stricter approach in securing the border. As President Joe Biden's visit to the U.S.-Mexico border concluded, the focus shifted to the policies and proposals put forth by his administration regarding immigration and border security. These measures aim to address the complex challenges at the border, while balancing humanitarian concerns and national security. One of the key announcements made by the Biden administration was a set of new policies that would
would allow 30,000 migrants per month from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela to enter the country and work legally for up to two years. However, there were specific conditions attached to this opportunity. These migrants must apply from their home country and have someone in the U.S. who can support them economically. We want to provide safe and legal pathways for those fleeing political oppression and gang violence. This policy aimed to provide relief to individuals from these countries who were facing dire circumstances in their home countries. By allowing them to work legally, the administration sought to provide economic stability and support for these migrants. However, the Biden administration also recognized the need to address the issue of illegal border crossings. To counterbalance the new policy, immigration agents would expand the use of an emergency health order known as Title 42. This order would allow for the expulsion of the same number of migrants from Cuba, Haiti, Nicaragua, and Venezuela to Mexico if they attempted to enter the U.S. illegally. Under Title 42, Mexico has agreed to accept up to 30,000 migrants a month from these countries. This is part of our broader strategy to incentivize migrants to come to the ports of entry instead of crossing the border illegally. The administration aimed to strike a balance between providing legal pathways for those in need while discouraging illegal border crossings. By expanding the use of Title 42, the Biden administration sought to deter migrants from attempting to enter the U.S. unlawfully. In addition to these policy changes, the Biden administration recognized the need for increased resources and infrastructure at the border. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas announced the deployment of an additional 100 Border Patrol agents to the El Paso area. Furthermore, officials planned to open a new soft-sided facility that could process up to 1,000 migrants. We are committed to providing the necessary resources to address the challenges at the border. These additional agents and facilities will help us manage the influx of migrants migrants more effectively. The administration's focus on increasing resources aimed to improve the efficiency of processing and managing the growing number of migrants. However, critics argued that these measures were not enough to address the underlying issues and called for a more comprehensive approach. Immigrant rights advocates welcomed the new program that allowed 30,000 migrants per month to enter legally. They saw it as a step towards providing safe and legal pathways for those in need. However, they also voiced concerns about the expansion of Title 42 and the proposed travel ban on migrants experiencing violence. The debate surrounding these policies highlighted the delicate balance between providing humanitarian assistance and maintaining border security. The Biden administration faced criticism from both sides, with some arguing that the policies did not go far enough to address the root causes of migration, while others believed they were too lenient and encouraged illegal crossings. Meanwhile, the situation on the ground continued to evolve. El Paso, in particular, witnessed a significant increase increase in migrants crossing the Rio Grande from Ciudad Juarez. Border Patrol officials released some migrants into downtown El Paso after processing them, while others slept outdoors in freezing temperatures due to limited shelter capacity. Despite all these, the Biden administration faced a range of reactions and criticisms from various stakeholders. Some praised the administration for providing legal pathways for those in need, while others argued that the policies were too lenient and encouraged illegal crossings. The Biden administration's policies have created a crisis at the border. We need stronger enforcement and a more secure border to protect our national security. Republican politicians in particular were vocal in their opposition to the administration's approach. They argued that the policies did not do enough to address the root causes of migration and called for stricter enforcement measures. On the other hand, immigrant rights advocates welcomed the new program that allowed migrants to enter legally. They saw it as a step towards providing safe and legal pathways for those fleeing political oppression and gang violence. Violence. We applaud the Biden administration for recognizing the need to provide relief to those in desperate situations. These policies will help protect vulnerable individuals and families. However, some advocates also voiced concerns about the expansion of Title 42 and the proposed travel ban on migrants experiencing violence. They argued that these measures could potentially deny refugee protection to those in need. The policies and proposals put forth by the Biden administration also faced legal challenges. Critics argued that the expansion expansion of Title 42 and the proposed travel ban violated international and domestic laws regarding asylum and refugee protection. The expansion of Title 42 raises serious concerns about the denial of due process and the right to seek asylum. It is crucial that we uphold our legal obligations and provide a fair and just system for those seeking refuge. These legal challenges added another layer of complexity to the ongoing debates surrounding immigration and border security. The courts would play a crucial role in determining 
determining the legality and constitutionality of these policies. As the legal battles unfolded, the Biden administration faced the daunting task of navigating the complexities of immigration law while addressing the immediate needs of migrants and the concerns of border communities. The journey towards finding a balanced and effective approach to immigration and border security was far from over. The policies and proposals put forth by the Biden administration were just the beginning of a long and complex process. But Biden believes that he is going to be faced by a lot of pushback because of one reason. All indications are this bill won't even move forward to the Senate floor. Why? A simple reason. Donald Trump, because Donald Trump thinks it's bad for him politically. Biden versus Trump. Since Biden took office, people have often compared how he deals with border security and immigration to what Trump did. Biden's decisions on these issues are always being watched, with many saying they're similar to what Trump did. Whether it's talking about building walls at the border or how to handle people seeking asylum or living in the country without permission, Biden's actions are always being judged against what Trump did. In 2016, Donald Trump campaigned on a promise to build a wall along the US-Mexico border, vowing to crack down on illegal immigration. This bold stance resonated with many Americans who were concerned about border security. Fast forward to 2017, and Trump wasted no time in signing an executive order to begin construction of the border wall. This move sent shockwaves through the nation and sparked intense debates on the effectiveness and morality of such a barrier. Meanwhile, Joe Biden, who served as vice president under Barack Obama, took a different approach. During his campaign in 2020, Biden emphasized a more compassionate and inclusive approach to immigration. He pledged to reverse many of Trump's policies, including the controversial family separation policy that drew widespread condemnation. Biden's promise to create a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants brought hope to millions living in the shadows. In 2018, the Trump administration faced a major challenge as a surge of migrants, including families and unaccompanied minors, arrived at the southern border seeking asylum. This influx strained resources and led to overcrowded detention centers. The images of children in cages sparked outrage and fueled criticism of Trump's hardline immigration policies. In response, Trump implemented a zero-tolerance policy, which resulted in the separation of families at the border. This policy drew international condemnation and faced legal challenges. Despite the controversy, Trump defended the policy as a necessary deterrent to illegal immigration. On the other hand, Biden's approach to immigration focused on addressing the root causes of migration from Central America. He proposed investing $4 billion in aid to the region to improve living conditions and reduce violence violence with the aim of discouraging people from making the dangerous journey to the U.S. border. In 2019, Trump declared a national emergency at the border, bypassing Congress to secure additional funding for the border wall. This move faced legal challenges and sparked a heated debate over executive power. Critics argued that Trump was overstepping his authority, while supporters applauded his efforts to fulfill his campaign promise. Biden, upon taking office in 2021, wasted no time in rolling back many of Trump's immigration policies. He issued executive orders to halt construction of the border wall, end the Remain in Mexico policy, and reinstate the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program. These actions signaled a significant shift in approach and marked a departure from the hardline stance of the previous administration. However, the Biden administration soon faced its own challenges. The number of migrants arriving at the border surged once again, overwhelming Border Patrol agents and leading to overcrowded facilities. This created a humanitarian crisis that put pressure on the administration to find solutions. In response, Biden's administration implemented measures to address the situation, such as increasing capacity at processing centers, expediting asylum claims, and working with Central American countries to address the root causes of migration. The administration also faced criticism for its handling of the situation, with opponents arguing that its policies were encouraging more people to attempt the journey to the U.S. During his presidency, Donald Trump implemented several key policies aimed at tightening border security. One of the most controversial measures was the Remain in Mexico policy, officially known as the Migrant Protection Protocols, MPP. Under this policy, asylum seekers were required to wait in Mexico while their cases were processed in U.S. immigration courts. Proponents argued that it helped reduce the number of fraudulent asylum claims and provided a deterrent for those seeking to exploit the system. However, critics argued that it put vulnerable individuals at risk and violated their rights to due process. In contrast, President Biden swiftly 
swiftly ended the Remain in Mexico policy upon taking office. He cited concerns about the humanitarian impact and the lack of access to legal representation for asylum seekers. This decision marked a significant departure from the previous administration's approach and signaled a more compassionate stance towards those seeking refuge in the United States. Another major policy difference between the two administrations was the handling of the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program. DACA, established under the Obama administration, provided temporary protection from deportation and work permits for undocumented immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children. In 2017, the Trump administration announced plans to end the program, sparking legal challenges and nationwide protests. However, the Supreme Court ultimately ruled against the Trump administration's attempt to terminate DACA, allowing the program to continue. This decision was seen as a victory for immigrant rights advocates and provided a sense of relief for the hundreds of thousands of DACA recipients, often referred to as dreamers. President Biden, a vocal supporter of DACA, has expressed his commitment to protecting and expanding the program, offering a pathway to citizenship for dreamers. In addition to these policy differences, the two administrations also took contrasting approaches to enforcement and deportation. Under Trump, there was a significant increase in immigration. Enforcement actions, including the expansion of expedited removal, increased collaboration between federal agencies and the targeting of undocumented immigrants with criminal records. These measures were aimed at prioritizing the removal of individuals who posed a threat to public safety. On the other hand, the Biden administration has sought to prioritize the deportation of individuals with recent criminal convictions or who pose a national security threat. The focus has shifted towards a more targeted approach, with an emphasis on due process and discretion in enforcement actions. This change in approach has drawn criticism from some who argue that it undermines the rule of law and sends a message of leniency to potential undocumented immigrants. It is important to note that both administrations faced challenges in managing the influx of migrants at the border. The Trump administration's zero-tolerance policy, which resulted in the separation of families, drew widespread condemnation and legal challenges. The Biden administration, too, faced a surge in border crossings, particularly from unaccompanied minors, which strained resources and led to overcrowded facilities. These challenges highlight the complexity of the issue and the need for comprehensive immigration reform. One of the key areas where the two administrations diverged was in their approach to the economy and the labor market. Under the Trump administration, there was a strong emphasis on protecting American jobs and reducing competition from foreign workers. This was evident in policies such as the Buy American, Hire American Executive Order, which aimed to prioritize American workers in federal contracts and visa programs. In contrast, the Biden administration has taken a more inclusive approach, recognizing the contributions of immigrants to the U.S. economy. Biden has proposed comprehensive immigration reform that includes a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants, which could potentially have significant economic benefits. Proponents argue that providing legal status to undocumented immigrants would allow them to fully contribute to the economy, pay taxes, and increase their earning potential. Another important aspect to consider is the impact of immigration policies on national security. The Trump administration argued that stricter border controls and immigration enforcement were necessary to protect the country from potential threats. This included implementing travel bans on individuals from certain countries deemed to pose a security risk. On the other hand, the Biden administration has taken steps to reverse some of these policies, such as lifting the travel bans and restoring refugee admissions. Supporters of Biden's approach argue that a more inclusive and welcoming stance towards immigrants can enhance national security by fostering positive relationships with other countries and promoting cooperation on shared challenges. Socially, the issue of family separation at the border under the Trump administration sparked widespread outrage and condemnation. The policy resulted in thousands of children being separated from their parents, leading to significant psychological and emotional trauma. This humanitarian crisis drew attention to the treatment of migrants and raised questions about the morality of such policies. In response, the Biden administration has made efforts to reunite families that were separated at the border. However, the process has proven to be complex and challenging, with many families still awaiting reunification. The long-lasting impact of family separation on the affected individuals and the broader immigration debate cannot be overlooked. Politically, immigration has been a divisive issue that has shaped elections and public opinion. Trump's hardline stance on immigration resonated with his base and was a key factor in his electoral success. His promise to build a wall and crack down on illegal immigration appealed to those who were concerned about border security and the impact of immigration on jobs and resources. In contrast, Biden's more compassionate approach to immigration and his commitment to comprehensive reform appealed to a different segment of the population. His emphasis on unity and inclusion
inclusivity resonated with those who believed in the importance of diversity and the contributions of immigrants to the fabric of American society. The issue of immigration has also had implications for international relations. Trump's America First approach and his emphasis on border security strained relationships with neighboring countries, particularly Mexico. The rhetoric and policies of the Trump administration were seen by some as damaging to diplomatic ties and cooperation on shared challenges. However, Republicans argue that Biden's execution of the law is more harmful to immigrants in the long run by getting them stuck at the border. But Trump did not allow people and discourage people from coming. The immigrants. Biden's approach to the border, often criticized for its perceived openness, has led to a situation where many find themselves stuck at the border. The ambiguity surrounding immigration policies, coupled with increased scrutiny on enforcement measures, has created a sense of uncertainty for those attempting to enter the country. The perception of leniency has fueled a surge in migration, exacerbating existing challenges at the border and straining resources meant to process and accommodate arrivals. As a result, individuals and families hoping for a better life often find themselves in limbo, facing prolonged waits and bureaucratic hurdles as they seek entry into the United States. In recent years, the U.S.-Mexico border has witnessed a significant surge in the number of migrants and asylum seekers heading north through Mexico. Thousands of individuals, driven by various factors, are embarking on the perilous journey in search of a better life in the United States. This surge has put immense pressure on border communities and has become a major challenge for both the U.S. and Mexican governments. The surge of migrants and asylum seekers can be attributed to a combination of factors, including persisting poverty, insecurity, and environmental stress in their home countries. Many individuals come from Central American countries such as Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, where they face high levels of violence and organized crime. The Maras and Pandilas, notorious criminal gangs, exert control over these regions, forcing families to make the difficult decision to flee their homes. The journey through Mexico is fraught with danger. Migrants face numerous risks, including human trafficking, extortion, and violence from criminal organizations. They often travel in large groups known as caravans for safety and support. These caravans have become a common sight along the migration route, capturing international attention and raising concerns about border security. The surge in illegal crossings has overwhelmed the capacity of border patrol agencies on both sides of the border, stretching their resources thin and putting immense strain on their ability to manage the influx of migrants. The number of encounters between border patrol agents and migrants has soared to unprecedented levels, with agents grappling to process and accommodate the overwhelming numbers of individuals seeking entry into the United States. This surge in migration has prompted sharp criticism from Republicans, who accuse the Biden administration of implementing an open border policy that they claim encourages unauthorized immigration. However, it is essential to recognize that the administration has maintained several border policies initiated during the Trump era, such as the controversial practice of requiring asylum seekers to remain in Mexico while their cases are adjudicated. Moreover, the surge of migrants and asylum seekers has not only strained resources within border patrol agencies, but has also exerted tremendous pressure on the communities situated along the border. Local services, including shelters, healthcare facilities, and social assistance programs, are grappling with an unprecedented demand for their services, leading to overcrowded conditions and significant challenges in meeting the basic needs of the growing migrant population. This strain on resources has resulted in a humanitarian crisis unfolding at the border with vulnerable individuals, including women, children, and families, facing dire circumstances as they await resolution of their immigration status. The surge of migrants and asylum seekers begins with large caravans traversing through Mexico toward the U.S. border, driven by various push factors, including economic instability, violence, and political persecution in their home countries. As the number of unauthorized crossings surpasses 2 million for the first time in history, border patrol agencies find themselves grappling with an unprecedented challenge with limited resources and personnel to effectively address the burgeoning crisis. Despite the Biden administration's efforts to implement measures aimed at managing migration flows, including investing in infrastructure and expanding processing capabilities, the scale and complexity of the situation continue to pose significant hurdles, exacerbating existing strains on border resources and exacerbating tensions within border communities. The U.S.-Mexico border challenge has far-reaching 
implications that extend beyond the immediate humanitarian crisis. It has significant economic, social, and political consequences for both the United States and Mexico. Economically, the influx of migrants and asylum seekers can have multifaceted impacts on the local and national economy, both positive and negative. On one hand, migrants often fill essential roles in industries such as agriculture, construction, and hospitality, where there may be shortages of willing workers among U.S. citizens. Their contributions help sustain these sectors, drive productivity, and support economic growth. Migrants bring with them diverse skill sets, talents, and a strong work ethic that can enhance innovation and competitiveness in the labor market. Additionally, their spending on goods and services generates revenue for businesses and stimulates local economies. However, the strain placed on local resources and services due to the sudden increase in population can pose significant challenges for border communities. Limited access to healthcare, education, housing, and social services may lead to heightened competition for resources, increased pressure on infrastructure, and strains on public budgets. Balancing the economic benefits of migrant labor with the need for adequate support and infrastructure to sustain both newcomers and existing residents presents a complex and ongoing challenge. Socially, the border challenge has ignited heated debates and deep divisions within American society, reflecting broader discussions on immigration policies, national identity, and cultural diversity. The issue has become highly polarized, with contrasting viewpoints on the appropriate approach to border security and immigration enforcement. Some advocate for stricter border controls as a means to safeguard national security and protect economic interests, while others emphasize the importance of compassion, inclusivity, and respect for human rights in addressing the needs of migrants and asylum seekers. These divergent perspectives underscore underlying tensions surrounding issues of race, ethnicity, class, and privilege, shaping public perceptions and attitudes towards immigration. Building consensus and fostering constructive dialogue among stakeholders is essential to navigate these complex social dynamics and develop inclusive policies that uphold both security imperatives and humanitarian principles. Politically, the U.S.-Mexico border challenge has emerged as a contentious and high-stakes issue, wielded as a potent weapon by political actors across the ideological spectrum. The issue has been instrumentalized in electoral campaigns, policy debates, and legislative battles, serving as a rallying cry for mobilizing voter support and advancing partisan agendas. Republicans have seized upon concerns about border security and immigration enforcement to criticize the Biden administration's policies, portraying them as weak and ineffective while advocating for tougher measures to curb illegal immigration. In contrast, Democrats have emphasized the need for comprehensive immigration reform, prioritizing pathways to citizenship for undocumented immigrants, and human humanitarian considerations in addressing the root causes of migration. The politicization of the border challenge underscores the broader ideological divide within American politics and underscores the importance of finding pragmatic, evidence-based solutions that reconcile competing interests and uphold the values of justice, fairness, and human dignity. Addressing the economic, social, and political implications of the U.S.-Mexico border challenge requires a comprehensive and balanced approach. It involves finding solutions that uphold security, protect human rights and promote economic prosperity. Collaboration between governments, communities, and stakeholders is essential to navigate the complexities and work towards sustainable outcomes. The visit to El Paso marked a significant moment as Biden sought to address these concerns and assess border enforcement operations firsthand. Accompanied by key officials and community leaders, Biden explored the bridge of the Americas Port of Entry and the El Paso County Migrant Services Center. Throughout his visit, the president aimed to gain a deeper understanding of the challenges faced by migrants fleeing political oppression and gang violence. However, despite his efforts, it became evident that Biden's solution to the border crisis was not working. Thanks for watching. Click on the videos on your screen for similar content.